good morning dears hope all of you are fine it's me prashant as you know that uh, we had uh, many classes last year and at present uh, because of certain reasons as you know the reason uh, we are unable to take the regular classes so uh, we are following a new style of class and you will be familiar with these kind of classes soon and doesn't matter whether you are not having any uh, direct contact with us and we don't have a regular class need not have any worry need not have any tension we will be starting our online classes and you listen very nicely and you will be able to understand the topic so first of all i want to tell you one matter that you should not have any tension that uh, when you're having this kind of classes uh, you might definitely have some kind of tensions that whether you will be understanding the class or not okay so we will be solving all those issues very nicely so listen the class and we will be discussing a small topic and the last year uh, you were in sixth standard and this year you have promoted to seventh standard so when you comes to the seventh standard uh, SS uh, history topic history it's not a boring subject it's not a boring topic we will be discussing small uh, topics very nicely and you listen it very carefully so that you can solve all the issues hope you got me so we are going to learn a simple and such a humble topic today it is slave dynasty so the name which shows slave you look at this slave dynasty so slave dynasty is one of the dynasty comes under delhi sultans comes under delhi sultan so you will be hearing this name delhi sultan slave dynasty and all this matter at first time so firstly you need to understand what is dynasty dynasty what is dynasty so slave dynasty we mentioned slave dynasty is one of the first dynasty comes under delhi sultan which delhi sultan under that the first dynasty is slave dynasty is it clear which is the first dynasty under delhi sultanate the first is slave dynasty tell me what is it slave dynasty so first we need to understand what is dynasty what is what is dynasty look at this dynasty dynasty is very simple a ruler who keeps a small territory under him a ruler who keeps imagine this is the total territory okay this is the total territory territory means what the land area which is coming under a ruler territory means what the land area which is which is comes under a ruler the land area which is comes under a ruler is called territory okay dynasty is different dynasty means what a ruler who has a ruler who has a small territory under him can be called as dynasty what is dynasty a ruler who keeps or who maintains a small territory or a small land area under them can be called as dynasty so under delhi sultan there were five dynasties the first dynasty is slave dynasty hope it is clear so under this slave dynasty the major rulers there were lot of outstanding rulers under this slave dynasty okay so many rulers were there you might have heard about them i think you are getting me i'm going to the first ruler the first ruler under slave dynasty once again i'm repeating this look at this delhi sultans under delhi sultans five dynasties were there how many dynasties were there five dynasties okay under this dynasty the first one is 
slave dynasty which is the first one slave dynasty dynasty means the territory territory means the land area dynasty means what the land area which is owned and which is ruled by a ruler okay that is dynasty so take a look at the next topic which means under the slave dynasty under the slave dynasty there were four rulers how many rulers were there four rulers how many rulers were there four rulers the first one kutub uddin aibak first ruler Kutub Udin Aibak. Who was the first ruler of slave dynasty? Kutub Udin Aibak. Who set the slave dynasty? Kutub Udin Aibak. In which year he set the slave dynasty? 1206. In which year? Kutub Udin Aibak, who set the slave dynasty in Delhi in the year 1206. When it was? 1206. In Delhi, Kutub Udin Aibak, who set a dynasty which is called Slave Dynasty. He had been the ruler of Delhi. He had been the ruler of Delhi from 1206 to, uh, 1206 to 1210. This is the ruling period of Kutub Udin Aibak. Which is the ruling period of Kutub Udin Aibak? 1206 to 1210. 1206 to 1210. Okay. I, I hope it is clear. Once again, I am repeating. Under Delhi Sultanate, five, rule, five dynasties were there. First one, slave dynasty. Dynasty means a ruler who keeps or maintains a small territory under him. So, under this slave dynasty, the first ruler, Kutab Udin Aibak, he set this slave dynasty and he uh, had been the ruler of Delhi from 1206 to 1210. Hope it is clear. The second ruler under slave dynasty. Second ruler. The first ruler was Kutab Udin Aibak. The second ruler is Iltumish. Who is that? Iltumish. Okay. Iltumish became the ruler of Delhi. After the death of Kutub Udin Aibak, the next ruler under slave dynasty is Iltumish. Who was that? Iltumish. Iltumish became the ruler over Delhi in 1210. After the death of means Kutub Udin Aibak, who had passed away in 1210. The next ruler who came to the throne or who came to the power was Iltumish. He had occupied the throne after his, uh, after his relative Kutabuddin Aibak's death. 12 not, sorry, 1210, he became the ruler of Delhi. And he was the prominent ruler and he had completed the work of a historic movement. Okay, a historical uh, monuments, as you know that historical monuments, which is located in Delhi, which is called Kutub Minar. I hope you might have heard all these Kutub Minar, then uh, our Taj Mahal and all those things. So all those matters we will be discussing later. Okay, so Kutub Minar actually started the construction by Kutub Udin Aibak. Who started the construction of Kutub Minar? Kutub Udin Aibak. Kutub Udin Aibak started the construction of uh, which one? Kutub Kutub Minar, and he could not, unfortunately, he could not complete the work. Okay, the constructional work of this Kutub Minar could not complete by whom? Kutub Udin Aibak. After his death, the next ruler was next ruler was. Iltumish. Iltumish, he became the ruler of Delhi in 12, no, 1210 and he started construction of uh, Kutab Minar. Finally, he completed. So, who completed the Kutab Minar's construction? Who completed? It was completed by 
Iltumish. Hope it is clear. And he became the ruler of uh, he became the ruler of slave dynasty after Kutabuddin Aibak, and he was the ruler of Delhi till 1236. 1236. 1210 to 1236. Uh, Iltumish was the ruler of Iltumish was the ruler of uh, slave dynasty. So now we discussed two rulers. We discussed Delhi Sultanate, five, five kingdoms under that. It was the first one, slave dynasty. Dynasty means a small area which is owned or ruled by a ruler. And under the slave dynasty, the first ruler was Kutabuddin Aibak, his period 1206 to 1210. Then the second ruler, Iltumish, 1210 to 1236. 1210 to 1236 and here we have discussed one another topic that is Kutab Minar. I'm not writing it, it's on the board. Okay, which one constructed by uh, Kutabuddin Aibak? Kutab, Kutab Minar constructed. The work was started by him, completed by the next ruler, Il Tomish. Who was that? Il Tomish in the year 12, not, 1210 to 1236. Okay. The next ruler under slave dynasty, it is Rasiya Sultana. Rasiya Sultana. Rasiya Sultana. Very important topic it is. Who was the third ruler of slave dynasty? Who was the third ruler? Ah, Rasiya Sultana. Who was the third ruler? Rasiya Sultana. Rasiya Sultana, her name should be with you always okay Rasiya sultana because she is an outstanding ruler okay and she was the first one Rasiya sultana was the first woman ruler of india Rasiya sultana was the first woman ruler okay at that time we need to remember the period 1206 1210 1236 at that period women had no power at all women had no power dears they had not been considered by anybody at that time at that time the ruler Rasiya sultana under slave dynasty the reason il tumish had three sons and one daughter il tumish had three sons and one daughter these three sons were not capable enough means after iltumish deaths automatically the power how to reach to the uh, male three sons he had but no one of them were capable enough to carry the kingdom so iltumish before his death before his death he decided he decided to give the power to whom the siya sultana he believed that who believed that iltumish believed that after my death mm, if i give this kingdom to my sons soon the rulers of the neighboring areas will come and attack and the kingdom will be taken away from uh, the slave dynasty so he she, he believed rasiya sultana and given the power and it was in the year 1236 when it was 1236 Rasiya Sultana became the ruler of uh, Rasiya Sultana became the ruler of slave dynasty in the year 1236 when it was 1236 and it she uh, unfortunately she could not continue that uh, power and the fru fruitful experience that she had okay became a ruler especially a woman was hectic at that time it was hectic so that time she had this power so remember such a hectic situation such a uh, rigid situation prevailed among the society she became the ruler she became the ruler and now she became the ruler in 1236 1236 and she could rule only four years how many years she could rule Rasiya Sultana could rule only uh, could rule only uh, four years. How many years? How many years? 
four years. Why? What is the reason? Was she not capable enough to rule the slave dynasty? Yes, she was capable enough. But at that time I told you, I pointed a matter that uh, the all men over those like locality were not satisfied because men were capable and men were uh, desired to have the throne but she had the power so everybody had jealous every man had jealous with Russia so finally Russia was assassinated by uh, the men okay it's the name is not specially mentioned the jealous men who had the interest of having the power by defeating Rasiya Sultana, they secretly planned and assassinated Rasiya Sultana. So, the third ruler of slave dynasty it is uh, who was that? Rasiya Sultana. She became the ruler of Delhi and under the slave dynasty in the year 1236, and she got uh, an end, her administration got an end. In 1240, which year? 1240. The last, the last ruler of slave dynasty. We are discussing about slave dynasty. Slave dynasty's last ruler, it is Giyasuddin Balban. Giyasuddin Balban. The last ruler of uh, the last ruler of hmm, slave dynasty after Rasiya Sultana was uh, Giyasuddin Balban. G Y A W S U D D D I N B A L B A N. So hope you all are having textbooks with you, so you could take your textbooks and uh, see the names okay so Gyasuddin Balban so for our convenience we can just use what uh, Balban for our convenience Balban is enough what is that Balban so the same way Iltumish had also one another name that, that also you can uh, take from the textbook okay it is Shamsuddin Iltumish <coughs> what is that <coughs> Shamsuddin Iltumish. So Balban, he became the ruler of Delhi, sorry, slave dynasty in 1266 to 1287. When it is? 1266 to 1287. So in between 1240 to 1266, there is a huge gap. There is a huge gap. Here you could see that 1206 to 1210, Kutabuddin uh, Aibak. 1210 to 1236, it was Iltumish. 1236 to 1240, it was Rasiya Sultana. And 1240 to 1266, a few years, slave dynasty could not prevail over Delhi. Okay, it was occupied after uh, Rasiya Sultana. After Rasiya Sultana, the rich nobles of Delhi who were jealous towards Rasiya Sultana had occupied the power and they were ruling these areas. Later, from the slave family, from the slave dynasty, Giyasuddin Balban or Balban, he occupied the powers back and he became the ruler of a uh, slave dynasty over Delhi in the year 1266 till 1287, which tw till 1287 he became the ruler of slave dynasty. Hope it is clear. This is what we need to learn today. Nothing to worry. Okay. Nothing to worry. You people can definitely do all these things very nicely. So use your precious time exactly for your studies. Okay. So I suggest you please, please, please take your textbooks along with the class. See the spellings see the names and these all explana explanations what I have given to you will not be there in the textbook okay the names and the years the names and the years are being given in your textbook but that is not enough for us 
since you are studying in seven standard years you have to learn these rulers and their administrative periods plus from whom to whom the powers were passed in between these years okay the works and all those will be given to you soon thank you for having a patient listening to me thank you thanks a lot for that